Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. Oh, I don't feel well. I think I've got an infection. Nurse Nanobob? Computer? The human body is full of microbes, tiny living organisms that are found pretty much everywhere on Earth. There are five main types of microbes, with three of the most common being viruses, like the common cold, bacteria that can cause pneumonia, and fungi that can cause athlete's foot. Most microbes cause no harm to the body, and many help keep you alive, so it's important to look after them. Some, though, can be harmful and cause infections. Ooh, Professor, use a tissue! Tissues help to stop harmful microbes from spreading. I tell you what, why don't I give you a checkup? I could take a look inside your body to see what's going on. One minute, I'll charge up the Heli Telly Bubble. Ah, my amazing invention that can shrink us to the size of an atom. 50 nanometers should do it, Nanobot. That's 1500 times smaller than a human hair is wide. Bon voyage! <laughs> Telly bubble ready to launch in three, two, one. Engaging thrusters. Microbes detected. Setting bearings. Entering your mouth. Gosh, it's crowded in here. Looks like the sensors picked up a beautiful streptococcus. This microbe is a type of bacteria. They are single cell organisms which often grow in communities. They look like chains and if I try to touch one, they're very slippery. <coughs> Streptococci are responsible for a large majority of problems in the mouth, from throat infections to tooth decay. And as well as Streptococci, there's lots of other different types of bacteria. In fact, there's so many, the computer can't keep up. Staphylococcus, Prevotella, Bacteroides. The number's gone off the scale. There's millions of bacteria in here. It's probably because bacteria like the sugar you eat. Excuse me, mine's quite a clean mouth, I'll have you know. I brush my teeth twice a day. If I didn't clean them regularly, I could have as many as a billion bacteria hanging around on just one tooth. Ew! Come on, Nanobot! You know that, like many microbes, most bacteria are nothing to worry about. Most are entirely harmless, and some are even extremely useful to us. Lactobacillus helps turn milk into yoghurt and helps food to be digested, whilst bacteroides help bodies make important vitamins. Well, even though it's bacteria central in here, it's all looking pretty normal. I don't think the streptococcus is making you feel poorly because there isn't much sugar around here. Microbe detected. Just taking a detour into the nose. Oh yes, I can see a whole host of different microbes in here, stuck to all the hairs. In fact, they're viruses. The damage they've caused to these cells has made the delicate skin very irritated and sore. This could be the reason you're feeling rotten. This gang are called rhinovirus. They cause the common cold. Each individual virus looks like a bobbly ball and they're very small indeed, only 30 nanometers wide. You could fit over 30,000 of them on a full stop. I'll take an image for the data bank. It says here that there's over 200 types of rhinovirus, which is probably why the common cold is, well, so common. Virus comes from a Latin word which means slimy liquid or poison. Ha! Well, I can understand why with all that snot they produce. But viruses can't reproduce without using cell material from other living things. And that can cause damage in the process. Which is what causes the unpleasant symptoms. <laughs> But how do we know it's a virus, Nanobot? After all, there's lots of different types of microbe. 
Well, viruses are some of the very smallest microbes, so size is a clue. We can also tell by the way they reproduce. This one has invaded a cell and is forcing it to create thousands of copies of the virus. That's how viruses reproduce. And given the number of cells they've invaded, I think I've found your infection. <coughs> Good work, Nanobot. Time to head home. Set the heli -teli bubble coordinates for the lab. At chew. Professor Halix's Kaleidoscopic Antibiotic. We support from eBug and Public Health England. Find out more at fungidslive.com slash or visit e-bug.eu.